Augsburg. I'm on my way to my son, Baby Hyper School, because his teacher called me and said he was in big trouble. I have no idea what he did, but I need to find out. Okay, you guys, I am pulling up to Baby Hyper School right now, and I cannot believe I got called in for a parent-teacher meeting because he got in trouble. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what the heck happened. Wait, 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 guys, I see Baby Hyper talking in chat. He just said, please don't call my mom. I promise I won't do it again. Mr. Keith said, this is unacceptable. Wait, guys, I see their usernames. Are they already talking about it right here? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they are. He said, too late. I've already given you two warnings. So your mom is on the way. She'll love to hear what I saw and then you'll get suspended. Bended? Oh my gosh! Guys, Baby Hyper seems pretty freaked out right now. And even though he did do something bad, why does it seem like his teacher is kind of like egging him on? That's a little messed up when he's already in trouble. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go inside. Uh, I'm just gonna say, um, <clears throat> uh, hi, I'm Baby Hyper's mom. Oh, wow. Uh, teacher Keith looks pretty angry right now. He just said, oh, wow. Hello there. How may I help you? Uh, guys, he looks really angry, but he's being very nice to me. I'm just gonna say, uh, I was called in for the meeting, uh, about baby hyper. All right, I'm just gonna jump the gun, you guys. I'm gonna say, what did he do? All right, guys, I, I don't know what he got involved in, but I have a feeling it's not good. Baby hyper just said, uh-oh, this is bad. Please don't brown me, mom. Oh my gosh, guys. He does not normally look this freaked out. I wonder what he did. Baby Hyper is basically already admitting to being guilty for whatever the teacher says that he got into. Uh, oh, Mr. Keith said he didn't do anything. He didn't get in any trouble. Baby Hyper is one of my favorite students. Whoa, okay, guys. I'm a little confused. Uh, Mr. Keith just totally changed his tone and now he's saying Baby Hyper didn't get in trouble at all and he definitely doesn't look mad anymore. He kind of looks a little like in a daze. Uh, guys, but right before I walked in, I literally saw him threatening to suspend Baby Hyper. So I'm just gonna say, uh, why am I here if he didn't get in trouble? I mean, I got a phone call about, about having like a parent-teacher conference. He said, oh, that must have been a mistake. In fact, he's so amazing that I wanted to actually talk to you about his future. Wait, what? He said, it's quite a long conversation though. So maybe we could go get dinner and chat. Wait, go get dinner? What? Ah, uh, guys, that's a little weird for a teacher to say. Um, I'm just gonna say, uh, that's okay. I just came to see why he was in trouble. But I mean, if he's not in trouble, then I'll just take him home. Mr. Keith said, oh, of course, no worries. Maybe another time. Okay, all right, uh, come on, baby hyper. Let's get the heck out of here. He said, bye, baby hyper. Make sure you don't make your amazing mom mad later. And baby hyper just said, um, okay, bye, sir. Uh, yeah, we're gonna start walking, you guys. Something about that teacher makes me feel very strange. I mean, I guess it's good that he suddenly started being nice, but uh, I guess if Baby Hyper's not in trouble anymore, it is one less thing I have to deal with. All right, you guys, I am at home. It is a few days after that weird parent conference meeting thing, but I am waiting for Baby Hyper to get home from school because it is finally time to check his report card. And if it's good, I'm gonna surprise him with a beach day. Oh, wait, guys, hold on, Baby Hyper just got home. Is he crying? What's going on? He just said this is not fair. Wait, uh, baby hyper, uh, what's going on? Guys, he looks so sad. Is he getting bullied or something? I'm just gonna say, are you okay? He just said, oh, hi, mom. Nothing is wrong. Everything is okay. Guys, clearly everything is not okay. I mean, look at him. He's literally crying. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, uh, come on, tell me what happened. Okay, guys, I don't want Baby Hyper to feel like he can't talk to me. He said, please don't do anything crazy. Uh, okay, I would never do anything crazy. Just what happened? He said, my teacher yelled at me in front of the entire class today. Oh, wait, Mr. Keith? He said, but I didn't even do anything bad. Uh, he said, it's not fair, mom. Oh my gosh, guys. Literally, when I talked to him the other day, he said Baby Hyper was his favorite student. Hold on a second. I'm gonna ask, um, has this been going on for the past few days? Baby Hyper just said, mm -hmm. I even got my report card. And he failed me? What? What do you mean? That, guys, I check all of Baby Hyper's homework. There is no way he could have failed. He said, I'm sorry for failing, Mom. I'm gonna say, don't 
apologize, okay? I'll go talk to him, you guys. I know for a fact that Baby Hyper did not fail that class. And uh, something feels a little off here. That teacher was kind of weird when I met him in the first place. So I'm gonna go have a conversation with him right now and figure out what the heck is going on. All right, you guys, I just got to Baby Hyper's school and luckily most teachers stay a little bit late. So I should be able to catch him. Oh, oh, uh, Mr. Keith, um, I'm gonna say hi. I'm so glad I found you. He just said, oh, hello, Baby Hyper's mom. How can I help you? I'm just gonna say, um, I'm here to discuss his grades and the fact that he got yelled at in front of the entire class. He said, I see. Unfortunately, I'm leaving right now, so we'll have to reschedule for next week. What? Next week? But Baby Hyper is so upset right now. I can't make him wait until next week. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna ask. I'm gonna say, uh, is there any way you can stay late just a little bit? He said, no. But I am heading out to dinner and you're welcome to join. We can talk about your son there. Wait, uh, guys, he mentioned dinner last time. Why is he inviting me to dinner again? I seriously get some weird vibes from him and I don't really want to go to dinner with him, but Baby Hyper is really upset. So, okay, fine. I'm gonna do it just so I can get to the bottom of this. I'm just gonna say fine, I'll go to dinner. Oh, okay, guys, Uh, he just got super happy. He just said, great, I'll see you at the restaurant in a few. Okay, guys, Mr. Keith really is a weirdo. Once I get this figured out, I'm gonna request that Baby Hyper gets a new homeroom class. But for now, I guess I better go get ready for dinner. Okay, you guys, I just got to the restaurant and it is a lot fancier than I thought it was going to be. But you know what? It's fine. I am just here to figure out what's going on with Baby Hyper's grades. Oh, oh, Mr. Keith is already here and wait, is he in a suit? What the heck? I was gonna say, uh, hi. Guys, why is he so dressed up? And he said, welcome. You look amazing tonight. I even brought you flowers. Uh, excuse me. I'm just gonna say, uh, thanks. What the heck is going on? Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and sit down. You know, guys, I'm not gonna lie. This kind of feels like a date, and I am here to talk about Baby Hyper. So I'm just gonna say, um, what exactly is going on here? He said, all right, I need to be honest with you. I failed Baby Hyper on purpose. What? What is he talking about? He said, I needed a reason to see you again. After I met you the other day, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. Uh, what the heck? He said, I failed him in order to get you here. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to say, are you serious? What the heck? That is literally insane. I'm going to say that is so unprofessional. I mean, you can't sabotage my kid's grades just because you want to have dinner with me. And second of all, wanting to have dinner with your student's mom is also weird. He said, you're right. I understand and I'm sorry, but I have a crush on you. Okay, guys, this guy is literally insane. Uh, and I, I'm not dealing with this, okay? I will not let Baby Hyper be failed because this weirdo. I'm gonna say I do not feel the same at all, okay? And you need to fix his grades or I'll report you to the principal. He said, you're right, I'm sorry. Baby Hyper is a great student. I should have never done this. I'll fix everything right away. Gosh, what the heck? Guys, I cannot believe it. that just happened. But at least she's going off to fix everything right now. And hopefully this problem is completely solved and I will not have to talk to this guy again. Okay, guys, I've been waiting outside of Baby Hyper's school to try and pick him up for a while now. It's like five o'clock and he's still not out yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and and see what's going on. Hopefully he didn't get in trouble again. Um, guys, it it's looking like nobody's in the little waiting room. Uh, there is one other student in here. And oh wait, I think I know her. She's one of Baby Hyper's friends. Okay, okay, maybe she knows where he is. I'm gonna go ahead and say, um, hi. Uh, have you seen Baby Hyper? Rosie said, oh hi, ma'am. She just said, I saw him getting yelled at by Mr. K earlier. Wait, what? She said, uh, he was told to stay late. I think. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that uh, 
Baby Hyper didn't actually do anything wrong. Rosie just said they might be in the classroom right now. Okay, you guys. Whatever Baby Hyper is getting yelled at for has more to do with me rejecting Mr. Keith than Baby Hyper actually deserving to be held back. Guys, if Mr. Keith doesn't have an amazing explanation for why he held Baby Hyper back today, then I'm getting him fired from this school. All right, this is his classroom and wait, where the heck is everyone? Hold on, you guys. I think there's a note over here. It says, attention students. Mr. Keith is out sick today. This class will be changed into a study hall for the day. Signed, Principal Smarty. Uh, out sick? Wait, what the heck? That's impossible. Rosie said that she saw him talking to Baby Hyper. I, guys, I don't know what's going on here, but I have a very bad feeling about this. All right, guys, I am outside of Mr. Keith's house right now, and I'm going to confront him and ask where the heck he took my son. Hello? Guys, I know that he is not actually sick. I have a very bad feeling about that note. And Rosie said that she saw him with, with Baby Hyper. So I know something is going on. Hello, open the door. It's not that late. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, uh, Mr. Keith said, uh, hello, who is it? Harry, what are you doing here? Guys, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, he actually does look sick. He just said, oh, sorry, I look like this. Can I help you with something? Baby Hyper is missing. And uh, Rosie saw you with him, okay? Guys, that is the biggest thing right now. Even if you look sick, I don't trust you, Mr. Keith. And Rosie said she saw Baby Hyper getting yelled at. He said, Baby Hyper is missing. That's terrible. I'm sorry, but I have no idea where he is. He said, I've been sick since last night and I haven't left my house. Uh, guys, I'm not sure if Mr. Keith is lying right now because he's not panicking at all. So maybe he doesn't have anything to do with Baby Hyper being missing. He said, I'll call all the staff and if I hear anything, I'll let you know. For now, you should go to the police station. And oh my gosh, guys, he just shut the door on me. I am so confused right now. I mean, Mr. Keith did seem upset at the fact that Baby Hyper was missing and all of him, all the stuff about him being sick seems pretty believable. But my motherly instincts are still kicking in and I still suspect him. So plus one of Baby Hyper's friends saw him talking to him today. So I have to do some more investigating. All right, you guys, I've been snooping around outside of Mr. Keith's house because uh, I think I need to find a way inside. All right, I know that he said he was sick, but I won't be fully comfortable until I know 100% that he has nothing to do with baby hyper going missing. Oh, guys, here's the back gate. Oh, and it's open, it's unlocked. Okay, okay, here we go. If he is actually sick, then he should be bedridden and he won't even know that I'm inside his house. Okay, here we go, here we go. I, it's locked, it's locked, okay? But luckily, I know a way to break in, you guys. And don't ask me why I have a drill on me. It, it's handy in situations like this, okay? If I can unscrew the lock. Here we go. Perfect. Open. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'm going inside. I now have access to Mr. Keith's house. I'm going to go ahead and close the door. So far, everything seems pretty clear. All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go upstairs. But I have to be really quiet because it seems like the bedrooms are all up here, which means Mr. Keith is probably sleeping right now. Okay, you guys. Here we go. Here we go. I'm not exactly sure where the master bedroom is. But whoa, 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 what the heck? Um, guys, why does he have a bunch of pictures of me in this room? Oh, that's weird. That's weird. That's weird. I knew he said he had a crush on me, but guys, this is looking more and more suspicious. Okay, I'm just gonna try to pretend I didn't see that. Oh, guys, this looks like the master bedroom. Guys, this is definitely the master bedroom, but why? Is the bed, like, perfectly made right now? Shouldn't he be sleeping? Uh, Mr. Keith is nowhere to be seen. I'm gonna keep looking around, but guys, after seeing that room with all of my pictures, and now he's not even in his bed, I'm kind of scared. I mean, I don't even know where he's at right now. All right, all right, I'm just gonna keep on moving. Okay, wait, here's the bathroom. Everything looks pretty normal in here. Okay, yep, got a closet. Ah, what the? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, secret latch. Secret latch in the closet. Holy cow, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna open it. Oh my gosh, where the heck does this lead to? Oh no, secret ladder into the basement. This is never good. This is not going to be good, you guys. I had a feeling Mr. Keith was up to no good, but this just about confirms it. Baby Hyper is anywhere down there. I really hope he's okay. Okay, you guys, I'm going to try and climb down here. Ah! Oh, okay, I'm good. 
I'm good. And now I am in a scary tunnel. Perfect. Why oh, does he have this tunnel underneath his house? I really hope Baby Hyper is down here and I can just save him and we can get the heck out. Oh, wait. What is that? Hold on a second, you guys. I'm going to try and stay as close to the wall as possible so I'm not seen. But oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. There's Baby Hyper. This is so much weirder than I thought. He said, your mom is looking for you right now. And tomorrow when I find you, you're going to tell her how amazing I am. Okay, wait, what is going on right now? Baby Hyper said, no way. I don't want to. Oh my gosh, you guys. He said, you are a big fat weirdo. Yeah, you tell him, Baby Hyper. Mr. Keith said, wrong answer. You get an F again. Looks like someone's not getting dinner tonight. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, you guys. He trapped Baby Hyper to try and set me up with him? Are you kidding me? He, I knew Mr. Keith was weird, but he is literally psychotic. Oh my gosh, he's trying to force me to date him by kidnapping my son? Baby Hyper was like, what the heck? That's not fair. And Mr. Keith said, too bad? Okay, you guys, I have had enough. I should have dealt with this after the whole weird restaurant incident. But Mr. Keith has gone way too far this time, okay? I'm ending this right here, right now. Stop what you're doing right now and let my son go. Mr. Keith just said, what the, Carrie, how are you here? And Baby Hyper said, mom, save me, please. This guy is weird. Oh, trust me, Baby Hyper, I know he's weird. I'm gonna say, I demand you let my son out of there. He said, why won't you just give me a chance? Seriously, guys, he's still trying to get me to go out with him right now? Uh, I'm gonna say, because you're insane. I would never go out with you. Whoa, whoa, okay, guys. Uh, he just started giggling and got that weird, like, dazed love face on, guys. He just said, fine then, this is perfect. Wait, why is he not freaking out right now? What do you mean it's perfect? He said, I just wanted some alone time with you since I love you, and I thought it'd be difficult to get that chance again, but here we are now. Oh my gosh, guys, he is so weird. He is seriously grossing me out. He's acting even crazier than before. I'm gonna say, uh, I demand you let my son and me go. Okay, guys, we don't have to make this any weirder than it already is. He just said, no, listen up. I have your son trapped and you're gonna date me or else, or else what? Uh, did you just threaten me again with my own son? Guys, he seriously doesn't know when to quit. Baby Hyper just said, what the heck? He said, make up your mind. I'll give you 10 seconds to become my girlfriend. Whoa, guys, you know what? That's it. I didn't want to have to resort to violence, but here we go. Stand back. Get away from me right now or I'll knock you out with this shovel right here, right now in your own basement. He said, what the, where'd you get that from? I'm gonna say none of your business. Now open that cell and let my son go or else. He said, okay, okay, I'm sorry. You go, go, open the door right now. Yep, get up, over the door, over the door. Come here, baby hyper. I'm gonna say now, get inside. He said, what, yeah, yeah, you, get inside your own cell. There we go, there we go. He said, I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. I'm gonna say I won't, but the police are on the way, okay? And you're gonna stay right there in this little cell until they get here. That'll teach you to mess with a crazy mom. Come on, baby hyper. Let's get the heck out of here. 